Sage Wanderer here. So, do I really live in a van down by the river? If I did, why would I live in a van down by the river? I love how the people that hate me just naturally assume I'm stupid. I'm a hillbilly clown. I'm a dumb redneck because I live in a van down by the river. Did you ever stop to think Maybe it's a lifestyle choice? Did you ever stop to think that you're the fool for paying all of that money for a mortgage? Paying all that money for an electric bill? Paying all that money for cable access? Now in a previous video I mentioned that I lost a million dollars in the recession. Did you ever stop to think that a man that lost a million dollars is also a man that made a million dollars? Did you ever stop to think that a man that lost a million dollars may not have lost all of his money? I'll tell you this, I'm not on government assistance and I don't go to work every day. And although a lot of people speculate about my age being that of the age of this shooter everyone's talking about at 64, in fact I'm considerably younger than that. And I've been retired for some time. One might say I dropped out of during the recession and decided to stop being part of the rat race. So, in previous videos, I've talked about how I feel like I'm probably targeted by Antifa for various reasons. That I live in the center of this Antifa, anti-fascist, um, it's a mess, man. Portland's a mess. Frisco's a mess. Austin's a mess. And maybe, just maybe, letting everyone know I live in a van down by the river might confuse those who are looking for me. Or maybe I stay in a different place every night because I'm looking over my shoulder all the time. Let me tell you the story of a man. I'll let you read between the lines. We'll just call him Dan the Van Man. Now, Dan the Van Man is a guy who kind of early in life you know, did the right things at the right time and made a whole lot of money and that Dan the van man owned properties owned homes owned a ranch on the Columbia near the Columbia Gorge in a beautiful valley but Dan the van man was bored and Dan the ma van man didn't like sitting in his big empty house by himself so Dan the van man bought an old van and parked it on the street in Portland at different places uh, every night mainly so he could be next to the nightlife so he could hang out with the younger crowds so that he could potentially find a fun date for the night just be where it's happening without having to pay the ridiculous prices they charge to live in Portland without having to pay the ridiculous charges that they charge you for hotel rooms in Portland. And that Dan was perfectly happy in his van. Dan was perfectly happy with his lifestyle. And Dan retained his properties but was seldom there because he was just more happy in his van down on the street corner next to the bar he liked to go to. So instead of getting drunk and getting in a car and driving through dangerous Oregon mountain roads while intoxicated, he just made a decision that it was easier to stumble up the sidewalk, fall into his van, and go to sleep. Now, I'm not saying I'm Dan. Please don't get me wrong. But I am saying who I really am needs to be a mystery because the things I'm saying are dangerous. Don't discount me just because I live in a van down by the river.